in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can import photos from a camera card directly into your photos app. So I've already opened my photos library and I'm going to put in my camera card directly into the Mac and it will come up as a device. Here we go. And I'm going to import my three latest photo but before I do that we can have, see here that this is the name of the camera card and you can tick that box and then next time you plug in your camera card photos will open automatically and you can import your new photos. Also we can choose whether we want to import these new photos into an album and it gives me a suggestion here, Weekend Away, that was the last one I created, um, or a new album, or the library. So for now, I'm just going to import it to the library, not into any of the albums. And here you also get the choice to delete your items after you've imported from the SD card. Now, I never do that because I keep my SD cards as they are as a backup but you can tick that box if you wish so of course. So I'm going to go to the, to the latest photos on my card so I'll grab these three and I will import these three selected photos. And now you might have noticed that it jumps automatically to the import folder here. And I can see the three photos I've just imported. Now, from this folder, just go back to photos. And you will see it has added them, they're the latest. So this adds them in the chronological order. So if you import photos that were taken two years ago, you will not see them at the bottom of this view when you're in photos. They will have gone into their chronological order and you'll have to scroll up to find them. As a quick way, you can go back to the import folder and see what you have last imported and that's the relevant inf information here, when was it imported, not when the photo was taken, because this is not the capture date, that's the import date. It can come in handy in some cases, but we're not covering that in this tutorial. So once you've got them, you can simply eject your SD card and you're all done.